Let's pick up in Romans chapter 2. We're going to do Romans 2 and Romans 3. Now, uh, as we begin to read Romans 2, what is Paul trying to get at? And I want us to understand that when Paul wrote this letter, he did not write in chapter and verse. But he wrote it as one long letter, which means that any thought given in what we call as chapter 1 is something that he will explain further in, 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 in what, he's, what he's writing further on. In chapter 2, Paul is addressing the Jewish people and he is addressing a, a, a problem with their attitude or in, in their understanding. The Jews feel that they are better than the Gentiles because they have been given two things. They've been given the law and they've been given circumcision. But he challenges their attitude. He says, look, you who know how to tell someone else what is right and wrong, you don't keep the law yourself. If you judge others, don't think that you will escape God's judgment yourself. This is Romans chapter 2, verse 3. And then verse 4, he's saying, look, it is the goodness of God that actually brings somebody to repentance. You're not going to bring people into repentance by condemning them. You're going to bring them to repentance by the goodness of God. So how does God judge? Four things Paul points out. First, he judges according to? Truth. That means it's the word of God. Thy word is true. Second, God judges righteously. He's a righteous judge. Third, God judges, Romans 2.11, without partiality. And fourth, God judges according to the gospel. What does God judge in our lives? What's he looking for? Paul highlights three things that God is looking for. He judges our deeds. This is in uh, Romans chapter 2, verses 6 through 11. Again and again and again, he says, God will judge our deeds. He who works righteousness, he who does what is right, he judges our deeds. Second, God judges what we seek after. This is Romans 2, 7. Those who seek after glory and honor and immortality. That means they are seeking the right things. The word then, the Greek for seek, can also be translated desire. So God judges what we desire. Third, he judges the secrets of our heart. That means he judges the motives of our hearts. See, even if anybody refuses to believe, that does not change God. If you don't believe, it does not make the faithfulness of God any different. And let every man let God be true and every man a liar. In other words, if you don't believe, it doesn't change God. If you look at Romans chapter 1 and Romans chapter 2, there are two built-in indicators in every human being pointing them to God and teaching them what is righteousness. In Romans chapter 1, he talks about reason. Romans chapter 2, he talks about conscience. That means in every individual, there is these two built-in indicators. Reason gives every human being the ability to look at creation and logically come to a conclusion that there has to be a great creator who created everything. Conscience gives every person the ability to say, this is right and this is wrong. So in every human person, God has placed reason and conscience. It is something higher and beyond any other creature. The whole world stands guilty before God. Romans 3 verse 19. And in Romans 3 20. That no flesh will be justified by their deeds. Basically he's saying we all stand condemned before God. But now he's going to present the good news. That is verse 21 to 26. So all that he's been saying in chapter 1 and chapter 2. Is to bring us to this point. It says but... The righteousness of God, which comes without the law. That means without you trying to keep the deeds. I mean, without you on the, not on the basis of your works. The righteousness of God, which comes without the law, is revealed. God is made known. What is the gospel? He says, Romans 1, 17, he said, For in it, that is in the gospel, the righteousness of God is revealed. Now he's unveiling that for us. The gospel reveals this. What is it? The righteousness of God without the law is given to man simply through faith in Jesus 